Who's going to be playing this? Uh, instant replay sports. You don't have to know number, and the red chair replaced it. You say you have two more? Good. <coughs> How many? Empty. <coughs> Still friends to be had. We have 12. In, the, in our entire 17 district, or? Guys, just look at the square. You said there are 12 miles. <coughs> on the square, they're empty. Yes. How many total storefronts are there on the square? Do you know? Oh. I do not. I can't have that. Yeah, that's. Is it four times that? Three times that? Is it, are there more than 50? There, are there more than 50? Uh, yeah. Storefronts are on the square? Okay. Really? Some of them are divided up into two, so that would be. Sure. Well, that would be. I didn't have time to count on this case. <coughs> Any other questions for Sarah? Do you, do you feel pretty good about where you're at in terms of your budget and your in terms of in revenue versus uh, your revenue? Pretty close. You're pretty good shape there when the budget. We have had case. more event sponsorships come in in the second quarter, um, as well as some more grant money. So, how many, how many grants have you, are you applying for right now? Do you have an offer, so to speak? I am currently in the process of writing three more. I'll finish up this one. And you, you got, you mentioned two, and you say you have another one that came in already in the second quarter. Yeah. Well, that's 
for $25,000. to uh, allow Main Street Greensburg to go forward with the uh, improvements downtown and landscaping. 
not to exceed, it's a little over 5,000, right? Not to exceed. Well, the, if the maintenance schedule would be seven. Or, or uh, six. That's right. So we need to have a not, not to exceed number in that house. Certainly can. But technically, it's other money.
we wouldn't have to go back and redo an ordinance. It could be done really and handled at the, at the planning commission level with the department making the first two pay. So if that's the case for the temporary, is that not something maybe we want to consider for the improvement site as well? I'm asking the question for us to think about <coughs> maybe there's good reasons that we have one at a specified amount and the other one to be um, able to be identified, obviously, and established, but more easily adjusted if necessary. Gary, is it uh, policy now, as long as they use the same size or just replace the glass and sign, there's no permit needed for that, correct? Correct. If you just do a face change to the sign, there's no permit needed. But if you increase the size of sign, then you have to change location or but my, my feeling behind it is if you're doing a permanent sign and you get an improvement location permit that's approved once and you're really not out policing that a lot. Uh, temporary signs, because they're only allowed, I believe, 78, 72 days or something by the ordinance, that we have to go out a lot more to police that. And, and that, that way, if you don't have that set fee, you can change that as needed, depending on what is costing you to go out and police that temporary portion of the ordinance. Okay. So what do you think, Lander? I, I'm just I'm raising the question. I, you know, tonight on first reading, I don't, I didn't, I'm not asking to make a adjustment. I'm just raising the issue so that you consider it and then <coughs> get the consideration of. Everybody, if we need to amend it, we can next time. Would that have the back of the back of the Not their, their committee, basically. With some authority that they're committed to the rest. Are there any other questions or concerns? If not, uh, I'm going to take a motion to pass 2014.
It's always been. Well, yeah. Actually. Some people have exceeded their agreement, and others have not met it. Okay. I, you know, I, I understand when you overreach and you, you're not quite there, but you are close or right. I'm all concerned about when it's. I just did pick this up here a few minutes ago, so I haven't had a chance to really look at it. You'd like to off the right Yeah, yeah, I understand. <coughs> I, I, I see the problem. I can, it's not like we're not getting any tax. We're <coughs> just coming here than we got the previous year, so. Right.
but it has something to do with flow and loading. Did I cover it all, Jeff? Pretty much. And uh, we agreed for that. We agreed on that. That's it. assistant request and it was passed on the first reading and I emailed the council members on it. I just want to thank the council members that replied to me. They were very courteous and informative with what they responded. And one of the comments that was made was that uh, if that's not brought back up, it could um, basically die for a lack of a second motion on that. I just want to request that it be addressed one way or the other. Uh, whether they decide to pass it or they decide not to pass it, I think it would be good for the benefit of the public to know one way or the other. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your concerns, Mr. Adman. Uh, we are short two of our council meeting president of council and uh, the mayor and Jamie Kane, and this is an important issue to the city, and I think it's uh, his best interest to delay it another month until they're back. Yes, one of the councilmen explained that, and I really appreciated them doing that. 